What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about how to fix error code SU-30645-8. So this is a common known error that happens when you're trying to like update your PlayStation 4 and some form of corruption happens and your PlayStation 4 just does not up to, update to the latest version that is currently available. This can obviously cause a lot of issues of into going online, playing on the PlayStation Network, and a lot of other issues that can just come along with that. Uh, I do have an easy tutorial on how to fix this. Uh, if you want to check that out first and give that a try before trying this complex method, I would highly urge you to do so. Uh, I leave a link in the description and in the comments below for you guys to check out how to do that. Now, obviously, if that didn't work and you're now over here or you've tried it from someone else's other method and didn't work, now I'm going to show you how to basically do it through the USB method. This requires you having a USB drive and as well as being to able to use the safe mode on the PlayStation 4 itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the USB drive into our computer and we're going to hover over it. So basically over here, you're going to right click it and you're going to do format. So the reason I'm showing you this currently is you need it to be into the FAT32 uh, type. If it's not in FAT32, if it's N NTFS or XFAT, it's not going to work. The PlayStation 4 will not read that USB drive. So the first thing you need to do is actually format it to FAT32 and do ensure there's at least one gigabyte of space in your hard drive, on your USB drive. Um, I'll leave a link for like an actual one that works into the PlayStation 4 in the description for you guys to check out. You can purchase it from Amazon. So it was like five bucks, I believe. It's extremely cheap nowadays, so you can just get it from there. Um, the allocation unit size is a matter of mine's on 16 kilobytes. You can make it 64, completely up to you. Uh, and that's it. Once you have it formatted, <coughs> Excuse me, it'll just show system if you have like hidden files available, the system volume information. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder called PlayStation 4. If you don't do this, it will not read the actual um, drive per se when you connect it to the PlayStation 4. So you have to call it PS4. So you can same thing, you right click into this, you click new, and you do new folder. And then once you're here, you just call it PlayStation 4. And then within that, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to create another folder and you're going to call it update and same thing. And then within the update folder, there's a .pup file, which is the PlayStation update file that you're going to basically drop and drag in here once you download it from the PlayStation website. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys below. And in here, the way you get it is there's two places where you're trying to basically, which one you're trying to download. We're doing, for the purpose of this video, download PlayStation 4 update file. I will make another video on how to do the download PlayStation 4 for the reinstallation file. Uh, this is when you go to the basically uh, safe mode and you do exactly what you're saying. This is often referred as a factory or hard reset. This completely deletes everything from your PlayStation and reinstalls the software as well as like everything from out of the box basically. Um, but we're going with download PlayStation 4 update file. You're going to, there's a guide on what to do as well, as well as obviously that's like a more uh, textual guide. This is a visual guide per se. <laughs> uh, you're going to click download PlayStation 4 update file. And again, this link will always give you the latest update. Right now is 7.51. Um, and, and this is, again, you can even see the date. It said seven, like you'll have the latest version of it. <laughs> you won't have the outdated version of whatever you're trying to download. Um, so anyways, uh, once you have it downloaded, it'll come up as a POP file. You're just going to copy and paste it for wherever it downloaded, whether it was downloads or desktop, into this update folder. Um, it's going to be a tad bit big. It's about half a gig. So you're going to download it and put it over here. And now we're going to go over to the other screen on how to show you to get into the safe mode and update it from there. All right, awesome. So now we're going to continue on from the PlayStation 4 itself to show you how to get into the safe mode and then update from the USB. So first we're going to hold the power button and you're going to hold it for about 7 to 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. So that was beep number one and now we're going to wait for beep number two. Beep number two. Oh, just an FYI, your PlayStation 4 needs to be fully turned off for you to continue this step. Now the next thing is, you do need a certified USB cable to be connected to your uh, controller, otherwise it's not going to work. Because you can see on the screen right now, it says connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. If you don't do this step, you won't be able to continue over next. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'll leave a link for like a certified one in the description for you guys to check out and use that. Uh, if you want to purchase it, you can use that wire. Uh, we're going to so basically press the PlayStation button and we're going to hover over to item number 3. 
and we're going to over here there's three options you can update from disk you can um i don't know if anyone still does that you can update from uh, usb storage device or you can update using internet we're doing update from usb storage device and i'm actually going to show you what ends up happening once you get to this screen so you're going to say connect and then you're going to say yes or okay per se and over here boom you actually see the thing pop up if you don't have a usb device connected it'll just say it doesn't read anything and then it starts copying the update file um you can see it's like literally copying the update file right now i'm perfectly fine with like re-updating it just to show you how it actually ends up happening for you guys and then from there i believe it copies it it installs the update and you should be good to go this does not really delete anything on your playstation 4 uh so as you can see it's going to actually update the playstation 4 i'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of how it ends up happening i know most people usually don't take this step <laughs> i actually wanted to to show you and also it's not my personal playstation 4 i have another one just for youtube videos so i'm able to experiment on this to the fullest extent of my abilities uh, so once you get to the so system software update tab um we're going to just follow the steps again it's it's supposed to be a very streamlined process as you can see so, so it'll currently update automatically um, I might actually skip this part just so you guys don't have to wait too long. All right, we're back. So it's almost done. As you can see, a couple percentage points left. Boom, we're at 100%. Should be almost done. It should automatically restart, if anything. So let's see. Boom, our PlayStation is now on with the latest installed software version, 7.51. And yeah, this is basically be it. I'm gonna actually just try to log in to show you, but this should have resolved your error. You should not be seeing the error anymore, and you should be good to go. It will rebuild the database. I think that's the first I've seen that. But anyways, I guess I just didn't do it in the background. It'll rebuild the database just to be sure. Uh, we're gonna press the PlayStation button. Boom, you can see all my data is still there. Nothing happened. My controller is charging. The games are still there. You can see Skyrim, Warframe, etc. They're all there. Nothing changed. And boom, I have the latest version of the software. Uh, I believe if I go to software update, I can actually show you the so system software update. And boom, I have the latest version of the software. Uh, let's see if it actually shows in the notifications. It would not because I guess I did it outside. But yeah, that's it. That's literally it. This would make your error go away. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button. It helps out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Aside from that, Mo Gaming out. Peace.